and we then some morning show I think in the UK are talking to Elton John and he goes fucking off and he's like you know sorry her career is over her tour is a disaster and it couldn't happen to a bigger cunt (laughs) he goes on I love Elton John he goes on I love Madonna but I love Elton John he goes on then to call her a, a, a fairground stripper a fairground stripper. That's such a yeah. random insult. Yeah. <laughs> it couldn't happen to a bigger cunt. But he goes on a full one. There's no one showing up to her gigs. Her gigs are a fucking disaster. Everyone's going wrong for her. This fucking this is an absolute disaster. And it couldn't happen to a bigger cunt. So fucking Madonna now at this stage is kind of she's kind of she's throwing little barbs at him, but not Elton John barbs. Elton John, Elton John's haymakers. Full. Yeah, he's They're swinging fucking. Yeah, burning Street Fighter uppercuts exactly, yeah. into those <laughs> fucking oh, you can. exactly. Yeah, Tiger, high five, Tiger, you can. He's <laughs> swinging for the rafters, right? Is fucking Elton John, and Madonna's just trying to kind of she's like, she's letting him have it every now and again, but <laughs> not as much as Elton is having it. She's taking them digs, <laughs> exactly. So apparently, this is, in 2016, so we're talking about a 14 year beef here. 2016, Elton John goes into restaurants with his fella, sits down. Right? <laughs> he gave an interview saying this. He sits down and across the room he sees Madonna sitting there as well. And he says to himself, Do you know what? It's fucking 2016. This has been going on for nearly a decade and a half. I'm, I've had enough of this bullshit. So he takes out a napkin and he writes an apology to Madonna. And he calls the waiter over. <laughs> this sounds like a scene from Always Funny in yeah. Philadelphia. He doesn't do it himself. He calls the waiter over and he says, Listen, will you deliver that to uh, table he five? Two laces together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Will you deliver this to table five or whatever it is? And sends it over to Madonna. Madonna reads it, waves at him, and he's like, That's it, it's done now. That's, so that's the end of it. He considers it done because he gave a written apology in a restaurant, didn't even hand deliver it or say it, wrote it on a napkin. Oh, no, I'm with him on that. You know what? Because that's testing the waters. Mm. If you do a confrontation, she has to deal with the confrontation. He allowed her to deal with that in her own way. In her own way and have at it. But yeah, that was uh, Elton John versus Madonna. They fucking had at each other from 2002 to 2016. Shit. They fucking tore lumps out of each other in the press, personally. Now, uh, his fella David Furnish, when he put that up on his Facebook, like he deleted it a couple of hours later. Right, still. But it was screen shot. Of course believe. it was. From, actually, the fella who invented the copy and paste died today. Shit. Yeah, for Apple. Cook, copy, paste. He, uh, the fellow who designed I think, died today. I used or, that once an hour. Yeah, me too. In my life. Me too, 100%. But that's my last one. Yeah. So uh, Elton John, uh, Midnight Creeper versus Madonna Sanctuary, which is not a great song. El- Midnight Creep- Creeper is a better song than Sanctuary. I don't care. Um <laughs> And it's still not great. <laughs> but uh, who was your last one? Because you've got the juicy one there. I don't know if we can do all this. She has attacked the world. Um, I think I know who you're going to talk about. So while you're talking about it, I'm just going to look at videos of her. Azealia Banks versus the entire world. Earth. To yeah. be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> they have an almost t- uh, discography of beefs. From Azealia Banks, this is my, made me thinking. Maybe I'm just going to skip through a few of them because I think she has. I won't say mental health issues. Everyone's got fucking mental she does. health issues. And I don't mean that in a she fucking does. over like a, a, a dickhead or brother. Oh, you got fucking problems. But she seems to ha- thrive on um, getting reactions, but in a siege mentality kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people do their best work. We are with beset si- upon all sides. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of people do their best work with siege mentality. Mm. There's people like Jose Mourinho, the football manager, who has gotten the press against him and turned it into a, and said to the players, like, everyone is against us. Let's show them the fucking... You know, it's just... It's a, it's a tactic. And it's a tactic for your troops as well. Siege mentality. If you're backed into a corner, that's when you do your best work. Unfortunately... I don't really know what Azealia Banks' best work is, bar the song 212, which is one of the... That's the song I picked. Yeah. One of, it's so good. It's so good. I, so, I like her. I like her. I don't know. Like, it's I'm hard like to you. not like her because... It's hard to not like her because some of her insults are so outrageous. She's, is she Australian? No, she's American. Is she American, yeah. Azealia Banks? Yeah. Let's start it, right? Let's start it real... I'm going to try and run through these, right? Lana Del Rey is the first... Oh, you know what? I'm going to list them all out first. Lana Del Rey, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj... Pharrell, Izzy Exalia, Little Kim, Rihanna, Erica Badu, Lily Allen, Perez Hilton, Beyonce, 
Zayn Malik, that's the one I can't wait to get to. ASAP Rocky, Kendrick Lamar, and the entire country of Ireland. I'm not going to lie to you, I just looked up who Azealia Banks is, and it's a completely different person. You're thinking of Izzy Azealia? Yeah. That's who she had a beef with, because they had similar names. I'm on her side. <sighs> I I'll don't know how to side. start with this. I tried to put this into, like, I tried to, like, get, narrow this down. Right, let's start with Lana Del Rey, right? Lana Del Rey went after Kanye West when he came out with the America... America, make America Great Again, ha. Yeah. He's another fucking Azalea Banks. He'll just, wherever the, wherever Kanye, he yeah, is, yeah, I'll point myself wherever he is. He's lost in the soup yeah. of the universe. So, uh, Land Del Rey had a go about that. And someone tagged Azalea Banks in, knowing she's going to go off on a mad horse. Can't help herself. So, she said, Land Del Rey is not being consistent with her outrage. She'll say this about Kanye West, but she'll do a song with ASAP Rocky. I like, actually, ASAP Rocky put a savage album out a couple of years ago. Did he? It's absolutely Well, apparently outrageous. he has issues with slapping a female fan. So she said, she thinks it's funny that she calls him on doing this when she's no problem with, with doing a song with someone mm. who beats up women. Mm. Uh, and we prove we're not into that on this podcast. Well, I'm not into it. It feels horrible. But I imagine I've never done it. <laughs> I'm glad you said that would though? say. Can you imagine? No, can you imagine it say if you're like, ugh. But listen, hitting anybody is not ah. pleasant. Nah, I've well, hit not. a few fellas who've deserved it. No, they hit me first. No, violence is. Can't imagine. I just grim. I can't imagine. Oh, not into so it. Weird. Not into it. Oh, actually, no. That some go. That's sexism. Go. Well, make up your fucking mind. Which is it? <laughs> uh, let's just move on to the Cardi B one. She called her a uh, poor man's Nicki Minaj. That's going back to the Europe. Mm-hmm. And accused her of having a ghostwriter. Now that is true. Cardi B has 100% a ghostwriter. Yeah, so that's a mad. big fucking thing. However, did, as good as fucking any of them people are, did they do that fucking twerk song with City Girls? No. No, listen, she doesn't hide away from the fact that she got a ghostwriter. But I get the fact that it puts... It irks some people. Uh, Banks also told The Breakfast Club... That's the fucking website. That's the fucking yeah. That Cardi B is an illiterate, under-talented rat. Untalented <laughs> rat. And called her, called her, oh, a caricature of a black woman. Oh. You want to hear some of the shit she says? That's why I have to get oh. all, get through all this. That made, me, ba- that made me how banks. belly moved that fucking, oh, noise. Oh, oh, yeah. It's bit me moved there so that the never song, moved. The song I picked, which we, I'm so glad we both thought of it, We Are The World. What song about a world? It's not not Joe Michael Jackson or the, the people. No, it's just it's the, the earth. The, world, yeah. the entire, like, So, not only was she terror. happy with that, let's go straight for Nicki Minaj. In 2002, she was offered the opportunity to accompany Nicki Minaj on tour. This is when the Zedia Banks, I think, was our biggest with that. I guess that can't get me. Mm. Talk about eating the pussy. Then it goes into this amazing middle eight, and it's, it's two on two is mm. such a fucking good song. But uh, she declined because she was finishing her debut album. Mm. Impressive. She should have done that. She should have went. Yes. Uh, Nicki Minaj later tweeted, man, these bitches are delirious. <laughs> oh, shit, there's more to this one. Fucking hell, it's too big. Banks responded without well, saying her name. Use use good grammar when you're insulting others. Ooh. Oh, Jesus Ooh. That's funny because half of these are written really badly of by Azealia Banks. Uh, I don't believe you and your rap game hierarchy. Sorry. Um, Banks did apologize in 2017. Let's mark the apologies down because yep. it's another important thing. Start them up. One apology, right? One apology. Pharrell Williams. Really, uh, for real? Completely one-sided. Pharrell Williams wanted absolutely nothing to do because if you know Pharrell <laughs> Williams, um, uh, according to her, he failed to promote a song they worked together, mm. worked on together. This happened a few times to Azealia Banks because what happened was she worked on a lot of songs when she was coming up. She gets grabbed into do songs, yeah, yeah. but then people look at her Twitter and go, "Oh fuck no, 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 no! Please God, no! Let's not promote." Avoid the the, the, the label are like, "Don't put that song out." So <laughs> she goes. The reason ATM, the song, did poorly is because Pharrell changed his mind about wanting to be associated with me. Mm. And then he had his light skin come back. Ugh. Which I presumably was happy. Song happy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she had a few other things to say where she called him light skin and these light skin people and stuff like that. So she would directly went after his skin color, which is... That's grim. Uh, this not, that's the tip of the fucking iceberg there. Izzy Azalea, who they get mixed up all the time because yeah, there are two Azaleas, one first. Yeah. Um, I like her. You do like her. I do. 
she came out, Izzy Iz, Izzy came out and was talking about suicide. And there was all a bit, a bit of beef before that, but it really came to a head when she went, she encouraged her to kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> Into the fucking river with you. Go on. They have since, I think she knew she overstepped the mark with that comment and they have become friends and they bollocks were, they have yeah uh, I think they did a, a collaboration but uh, did they do like a box collaboration out, do you know what it was right every time Izzy Azalea would come out with a song someone would tag and goes look at her she's got the same name as you so it's funny when she talked about like the do it fuck it kill yourself oh my god Lil Kim that's incredible <laughs> she went after Lil Kim as well yeah there's just so many yeah. there's so many she didn't go after me she would if you get Maybe, I'm on the hang list on, hang on, on you, the do list. you live in Ireland yeah. Yeah, she went after you. Have, have you down here at the Oh, end. savage. The things she said about <laughs> this country. Right. Uh, she initially came out and said, absolutely no problem. Look, I absolutely love her. I adore her. Absolutely do. But she said, then, much like the Cardi B thing, everyone knows Little Kim doesn't really write her own raps. Ooh. Uh, do you know why she said this? Because they were supposed to do a song together. Again, like that thing. And Little Kim pulled out because she was reading. Someone goes, yeah, 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 I'll do a song with you. She's big, yeah. Oh, fuck, look at her. Look oh, at her. Look at her. Look at her. Absolute lunatic timeline. I'm not going to. So she pulled out. That's when she turned her and said, everyone knows Little Kim doesn't write her own raps. And uh, she took the... Uh, Little Kim, to be fair to her, took the high road and did not release a statement. Considering all... She's in the middle of a beef still at this at this stage with Nicki Minaj. Mm. And so was... Her, so was... She, so was is he Levine? It's so confusing. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that one. Let's get the rest of that. Rihanna. Let's go to Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah, of course. Oh, of course. She's gonna go to the biggest. She's Rihanna. just going through everyone basically. There was yeah. there was Eminem and everything in here that I had to delete. So you you were you were right in saying the world. She's fighting the entire world on her Twitter, <laughs> which I don't. Which she is now banned from. Oh, she but lifted. We'll, we'll get on to that. Uh, I might leave. The, ba- the Twitter banning because what she said was I'm going to read it out I'm going to read it out no it's not my word so I'm leaving yeah you can read it as long as it's not uh, you uh, so Rihanna this is a really complicated one Rihanna is not an American citizen she is uh, from Barbados yeah yeah from Barbados so she had a problem with the whole Trump uh, getting rid of people who were not American or are born yeah. in America like that. So, so she can't, basically Azealia Banks likes to call out hypocrisy in the slightest terms. Even if the original person said something that's hugely important, she goes, yeah, well, like, you're not even fucking from here. So yeah. what the fuck are you yeah. saying? Yeah, you. So, Banks said <laughs> that the only reason that she did this was to get publicity and that she really needs to shut up. Because mm. you're not an American citizen, so you're coming out and just making... I could be paraphrasing this. This is really complicated to try and read. But all Rihanna did was posted one single smiley emoji and goes oh, sorry a kissy face emoji the kissy yeah. the little heart thing goes this is the face you make when you're an immigrant what yeah because she is an immigrant yeah I know uh, then Banks came back sorry so Rihanna had a dig back at her said she uses uh, chicken sacrifices in her gigs no I don't know how true that is I couldn't find that shit get the fuck no. out of here no hang on that couldn't be right that must be what she said about Rihanna because Rihanna's from a country which yeah. would have uh, voodoo voodoo, like, voodoo yeah. the, the hoodoo the hoodoo voodoo what you don't dare do people <laughs> hoodoo voodoo no, we do references Banks' alleged sacrificing lives ticket no someone's fucking killing chickens we're gonna go on to Erica Badu do you, Erica Badu, really? Why would you fuck with Erica Badu? Just leave her alone. No, the certain people just stop trying to pull heat off the biggest n- names. Yeah. Right. So, in 2015, Erica Badu responded to a fan who wondered if she'd ever. Oh, sorry, this is actually Badu started this. I'm gonna give it to. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Azealia Banks. It wasn't her fault. Someone goes, "Have you ever given Azealia Banks's music a try?" <laughs> and Erica Badu replied with one word. Hmm. Tried. Dirty. What a great response. Dirty. Tried. Uh Banks responded suggesting that Badu was jealous and when artists grow old and they can't get recognition, their own morality and this comes into question and they start throwing shade at younger artists. They made We up covered for it. that already, that does happen. Yeah, it does happen. So there's their second apology. They both apologised to each other. She said that she wrote that because Erica Badu is one of her biggest idols and hearing her say that was worth it. So there's two apologies mm. from uh, Lily Allen. Didn't mm. see that one coming. 
This be, this started in 2013. Banks called. This is really fucking harsh. Banks called Lily Allen's husband Sam Cooper ugly randomly. All right. And then she went after her kids, saying they were ugly as well. Fucking hell. 